Hey guys, Justin here from The Camera Life. It is day 30 of my 30 day photography challenge. It is the 3rd of September and I'm here in Bendigo where I live. Today I wanted to really challenge myself to do something uncomfortable, which is take some photos in the middle of the day where the sun's out and the light's not great. I've got the Leica Q3, an amazing camera, but 28 millimeters means you really have to take in the scene. You know, it's not like using a 50 or a telephoto or something where you can zoom in on little interesting parts of the scene. You've got to find interesting scenes to shoot. And uh, the final part of what I wanted to do today was I just got Yelena to drop me off on the other side of town, somewhere I wouldn't normally stroll around. I don't really, you know, I drive through this area, but I don't walk around this area. And uh, I wanted to experience it uh, walking from here back to my house and take photos along the way and hopefully find some new things that I never, ever would have thought to photograph before. So I'm gonna strap you guys on the uh, POV mount and let's go and see what we can find. empty shop. Classic profile. Feeling very self-conscious. A lot of people will look at you when you're taking photos and you've got a uh, video camera strapped to your chest. So, I'm just trying to ignore that. It's not easy though, you know? This is way out of my comfort zone. It's funny, but in a, a major city like Melbourne or New York, Tokyo, whatever, you don't really worry too much because there's so many people and you're never gonna see them again in your life. But for some reason, when you're in your hometown, somewhere that you've lived for your entire life, uh, I don't know, it's just, for me, it's easier to feel self-conscious or that people are wondering what you're doing. You guys ever feel like that? Like I, I'm not even sort of out here taking street photos. I, I don't even know what I'm taking photos of. Just photos. Just need no cars. And Step back a little bit. Let's just firstly get focus on the front of this shed. I don't want the aerial. I do want the chimney with the aerial and I want the tree. Maybe I can get a tiny bit closer. Double check our focus again. I mean, I'm, I'm at five, six, so a lot of it's gonna be sharp. All right, that took longer than it should have, but let's move on. Okay, just wanna get this 
rust. Sent it framed. Textures. I'm enjoying textures today. This uh, squash building is so retro. Inside would probably look cool. Feeling a little weird about all this. Need to do an image review to see if I've just wasted my time. Strange photos, that's for sure. of about that tree. Can we use some of the power lines to frame it? I think it's important that that pole's in focus. Okay, I think we'll go down to F8 and then just drop our shutter speed. To two fiftieth. How would you guys shoot this in a way that everyone else in the world hasn't done it? This is at the front of the Bendigo Art Gallery. to shallow depth of field, black and white. I don't know, same, same, but different. textures.
Well, I think I'm gonna call it there. Gonna continue my walk home, but this is the end of the video. This is the end of my 30 day challenge, but it is not the end. Uh, I'm gonna make a plan for this channel going forward. I really enjoyed doing camera reviews. I really enjoyed doing these uh, straight out of camera style photo walks where the photos are exactly as they appear on the back of the camera. And I have a few other ideas as well that I want to uh, explore on the camera life. So subscribe. Sorry today was a little bit quiet. I uh, was alone in my thoughts while I was shooting and I was enjoying it. So I didn't talk to you guys as much as I normally would. But uh, if you want to see if this if this is the first video of mine that you've watched, uh, I encourage you to go back through some of the videos over the last 30 days and check them out. Uh, I've done mountain bike photography. I've wandered around uh, in the snow at sunrise. I've tried to take photos of trains and train lines and all sorts of weird stuff. So definitely got out of my comfort zone and I've enjoyed it. I'm taking the sort of photos that I never really would have taken and uh, I'm interested to see where this goes. And with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one.